Hey everyone, the FedEx man paid me a visit today, so I thought I'd share. I have right here in front of me a first off the press copy of Mice and Mystics, so I thought I'd dive into the box and let you all have a first look. The box is a standard size box, so we got some complaints about the Summoner Wars Master Set not fitting on shelves, so no issue here. We open the lid, we see right on top, here's the rule book. All full color, lots of little details and examples, and and then this hefty book here is the the uh, Sauron Remembrance storybook, and that's full of art and instructions on how to weave your way through each chapter of the Sauron Remembrance story. And then we have the story control board, and this is a puzzle fit board. It comes in two sections here. First section, and then we just puzzle fit this onto there. And this is where you'll be uh, viewing how deep into the story you are before getting to the end marker. You don't want your, your story marker to reach your end marker. And then you also have tracks here for initiative and a couple of spaces where you can put your decks. And then uh, just an area that you can put captured mice and things like that. Uh, also, this is the minion cheese wheel. Cheese will go on here. Uh, as the minions accumulate it and a surge happens when it fills up. Also, we have eight of these tiles, and these are double-sided monstrous tiles. Uh, each one depicts a different area of the castle. Uh, one side of the tiles are an above-ground area, and then the other side is an underground area. So, for example, here, there's a flip space right here. If You, you can have the mice drop into through the grate and then you flip the tile over and they all splash into the sewers. Uh, also in the box, once we get past all those tiles, is uh, three punch boards with tokens. There's some wound markers there, some status tokens. Uh, there's a bunch of cheese markers. Those pop out and you have your little cheese tokens. See, those are just the right size for the uh, minion cheese wheel. Uh, a bunch of various story tokens that come into play in at different times. Uh, this cat paw represents Brody the cat as it moves around the castle. Right here we have the search cards. It's a big old deck of cards. Uh, almost all the cards are unique. There's a couple of repeats in here, and all of them have art on them, so that helps add a bit to the story telling. Uh, diff all different kinds of things in here. Scrolls and events and weapons and armor and all kinds of stuff. We have some ability cards here. Each ability uh, can be used by various classes and they all have a cheese cost associated with them so your mouse can cheese throughout the game and can spend that cheese to, uh, to use one of their abilities. Here are some initiative cards. Each minion type and each uh, hero has an initiative card and those will go along the initiative track uh, to determine in what order uh, things are going to take their turn. We also have these encounter cards and as you can see each card has uh, six different encounters on it and depending on where the hourglass marker is on the story control board that will determine what the encounter is going to be. Also there's a surge uh, on a lot of these cards. If there's no chapter specific surge for a room, this is the surge that will happen if the minion wheel shows, uh, fills up. Um, there's two different types of encounter cards. They're difficult and standard. And then sometimes they'll have uh, nodes at the top like mouse traps or some of them have ambush. Uh, so mouse traps mean that you're going to place mouse traps on that tile. Ambush means that the, the uh, minions are going to get a jump on you. Uh, there's also, now into the, the juiciest of the bits, we have a bag full of minis here. Let me crack those open. Yay, minis. So there's uh, six different rats, and there's eight roaches, and then each hero has their own mini. So, like, there's Tilda right there. And here is Filch. And here is Nez. And there's six different heroes all together. 
There's also one of each large minion, so the centipede here, and the spider. This little mini has the prototype of this, managed to freak my wife out on several occasions as it laid around the house. So those are uh, all the minis, and here's some character cards. Each character, uh, each mouse gets their own character card. On the reverse of each card is a backstory. Uh, story is really important to this game, so it's cool to read up on what your character is all about. Um, there's also these really cool dice. They've got a bunch of different symbols on them. Um, they even have a cheese side. If you roll that, you get cheese uh, when attacking or blocking. And so that is the pile of stuff that you're going to get with Mice and Mystics. Thanks, guys.